Balboa Park. What was once 1,400 acres became less than 1,200 through encroaching speculation, planning, and development. George Marston tried to stop the threat by investing money into the park from his own wallet and fundraising. But still, the danger persisted. In 1913, this portion of the park was paved over to extend 6th Avenue. And in 1918, automobiles were allowed in the park. Cars, traffic, and parking problems have been the bane of the park ever since. 1933, demolition was ordered by the city of San Diego. Much of El Prado's dream city architecture was to be scraped away. It was George Marston, Gertrude Gilbert, and other concerned citizens that stood up to say no to this tragedy. And in 1948, a sizable portion of Balboa Park was sacrificed for a freeway. Concerned citizens then had to stop it from becoming eight lanes and to stop demolition of the Cabrillo Bridge. But in 1963 and 1964, Balboa Park suffered the tragic demolition of these historic buildings. Demolition proponents argued the structures weren't historic or even legitimate architecture. They insisted modern designs of the day should prevail. The backlash couldn't have been stronger. It prompted civic activist B. Evenson and architect Sam Hamill to create the Committee of 100, a group dedicated to protecting and restoring Balboa Park. Through them, El Prado became a National Register Historic District in 1978. National Register status provides important protections for Balboa Park as we move into the year 2011 and the park faces yet another round of destructive plans and incompatible proposals. The plan this time is for a bridge, road, and parking project. The bridge will destroy Goodhue's now iconic view of the Dream City. It offers an incompatible clash of modern construction into a historic setting. It is contrary to the standards for a National Register Historic District. Those standards also protect Plaza de Panama, restoration concepts adding a clash of fixtures or amenities made of modern building and landscape material is unacceptable. Standards require guidance from historical plans, documents, photos, and literature, not trendy examples from other parts of the world. It is our park and our history. Now is our time to follow in the footsteps of past guardians, to join together and protect Balboa Park, to say no to the current destructive plans for the Cabrillo Bridge and Plaza de Panama.